morning everybody. It's a balmy minus two degrees this morning but beautiful blue skies. We're standing underneath our ginormous pine tree. Um, life doesn't get much better than this. Okay, into the workshop we go. Well everybody, this morning we're going to do some machining. I haven't been out for a few days, it's been a bit cool. But today it is plus five degrees in the workshop, so I'll rug up and we'll do our best. Let's get to work. Today's job, folks, is the big spinny thing, also known as the flywheel. It's quite a large piece of metal, especially for my small lathe. I'll give you some indication of the size. That's my hand. So you can see it is quite a large chunk. It needs cleaning up as per usual on the linisha to get all the dags off it. Um, we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll proceed to machine it. Okay, I've mounted the flywheel on the four jaw chuck using the inside face, not the outside. So everything will be true to the inner casting. That'll give it a better finish when it's running. You can see it's out a little bit, but it's not bad. So we'll proceed on to uh, machine it. Just take a light cut. I'm using a right hand tool in the tool holder. Uh, unfortunately I can't get out far enough with my normal cutting tools. This is uh, a new tip in this tool. Hoping there's no hard spots in the flywheel. And we'll proceed on to clean up the flywheel a bit more and I'll bring you guys back a bit later when I've got something more to show. Okay folks, I've machined the flywheel about 
60 thou oversize, just rough cut. Uh, I've hit a hard spot, so what I'm going to do now is face the end of the flywheel, hopefully get underneath this hard spot, it's right on the edge. You could probably see it in the camera as it's coming around, it's a shiny bit. Uh, I'm taking light cuts because I don't want to rip the thing out of the chuck. I guess it'll be spectacular video if it does. Now this is, has to be hand fed, I don't have cross feed on my lathe. Call that cross feed, power cross feed. You can hear the hard spot. It's only very small luckily. Uh, we'll get underneath it eventually. I've noticed with these Stuart castings, there's always a hard spot in one of them somewhere. There is a roughing cut, so I'll try to finish it with a high speed steel tool. I'm running at um, 234 RPM. Take your rod in close. Focus. I focus so close. There we go. Bring it around. You can see the hard spot. It's almost gone, luckily. Just, just on this edge. Just there. See it just there? That shiny bit? If you get a hard spot in your castings, um, you can be brave and force the tool through it. And hopefully it doesn't rip it out of the chuck. Or you can destroy your tool and take light cuts. So Fortune favours the brave. I, I took a fairly heavy cut and got under most of it. So. I'll bring you back a bit later and we'll continue. Okay guys, I've faced the end boss. Just going to center drill it now. I'm going to drill and ream this half an inch. Plans call for 716 but I'm going to make the shaft, the crankshaft, half an inch give me a bit more strength plus the fact that the steel they supply is ground to half an inch exactly so it's a, it's a finished piece of steel so I don't want to turn that down on, on this lathe in particular over that length and get a taper or rough finish or whatever so I'm going to use the half inch stock supplied
through a pilot hole. It's five millimeter. The last drill is ten fouls under half inch. It's a new drill. And now put a half inch streamer down the centre. I'm going to drop the speed. When you're reining, guys, do it nice and slow. Okay everybody, the flywheel is now finished on one side and the outer diameter is now cut and finished the size. It came up alright, there's a couple of pinholes in it which I'm not very happy about. Just They're very small, there's one there. Um, I know they're there, but, but what can you do? Other than that, it looks pretty good. So I'll reverse it. I'm going to mount it on a mandrel to turn the other side and uh, I'll bring his back. Okay folks, machining is now complete on all faces, outside, both front and back face and around the hub. I'll just give it a run so you can see how true it runs on the mandrel. See if we can zoom in. The hubs are now machined both sides with a radius. I used a home ground tool. I couldn't do it on camera because there just wasn't enough room unfortunately. But I'll show you the tool I used. It's come out pretty good, I'm very pleased with it. This is the tool I used to do the radiuses with. Just ground up a piece of um, tool steel. Uh, for another job actually, but it worked fine for this. Doesn't take much grinding. 
bit of practice. So it's on to finishing off the casting and then on to the paint shop. Thanks everybody, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.